Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Rabo. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to export responses from a Microsoft form and how to send an email to those responses using SharePoint and Microsoft Power Automate. Don't forget to like this video and hit on the subscribe button. If you can notice, I'm actually in my Microsoft form environment and the name of my form is YouTube Data Information. So in order to get the data from this form, in order to get the responses from this form, I just have to click on, that is I'm trying to export the data from this form. So to do that, I'm just going to click on responses, then click on open in Excel. So what this does for me is that every, all the information on this form, they go into an Excel sheet. Then, so the next step I'm just going to do is to go to SharePoint, and then I'll click on new and click on list. So in creating your SharePoint list, we have three options. We have creating from a blank list, we have creating from Excel, and we also have creating from an existing list. So if you want to learn how to create from a blank list, don't forget to check my video and you can see how to create from blank list. So today we are going to be creating from an Excel sheet. So I'm just going to click from Excel. Then I'm going to go ahead and click upload file and click on that Excel sheet, then click on open. There's one thing after your data loads, there's one thing you have to take notice of is that you have to check the data type if it corresponds with what you are doing. So for here, I have single line of text, so I'm just going to check through them and see if it's OK to go. OK, then the next thing I'm going to do is click on next. And I'm just going to remove this there and yes, I'm just going to leave it on YouTube data information and click on create. So it's actually creating my list and when it comes up, it's going to show it YouTube data information so you can see it. So the next thing I'm going to do is the next step for me is to send an email to every responses like to the responses on my Microsoft form. So I'm just going to click on Microsoft Power Automate, then click on Create. So in Power Automate, we have different types of flow. So the flow we're going to be using today is an instant cloud flow. So, and my trigger is manually trigger a flow. So I'm just going to click on Create, and I'm going to increase my screen a bit. Yeah better so i'm going to click on new step i'm going to click on new step and go for the action i'm going to use here is get items which is a, a an action in sharepoint i'm just going to click on get items and for my site address i'm going to click on the name of the site then list name i'm just going to look for what what did i actually name that list just now so as that youtube data information so there's no need for me going through extra, extra steps for this. I'm just going to click on new step and look for send an email, look for the action, send an email V2. Okay, you can notice it, send an email V2. So who am I actually sending this email to? I'm just going to click on add dynamic content and it's going to get, I'm going to try and notice, okay, what is what is the email standing for here? It's standing for email. I'm just going to go back to my Power Automate and look at it. You can see it's email. It's not actually email address, but when it's, when the data is coming from my SharePoint list, it's email. So after clicking on that, I have an apply to each, and that is totally fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that um, give that um, this thing a subject like the the email subject. I'm just going to go for YouTube data information and go ahead and write for the body. So what this means is that it's just like a normal, it's just like a normal um, email that you want to send a normal email. You have to put the person's email address and you also have to write the subject of the email and you also have to write the body of the email. So that's, that's just what this action, what you are doing in this action. So I want to make this email personalized. So I'm just going to write hi. Then I'm going to look for 
what was the name? What was it? It was name, yeah? And it was name two, if you can notice. So why this part is showing name is because I was the one who filled the form. So you can see it is name two. So I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to go back and go for name two. So then I'm just going to write thank you for filling the form. Kind regards. Okay, then I'm just going to click on save. I can either click on save here yeah, or I can click on save here. Yeah. So it does not really mean. So I'm just going to wait for it to save. Then the next step to do is to click on test. Then I'm going to test it manually. Then click on test. So the next thing is to click on continue. Then click on run flow. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next video.